brucellosis. Brucellosis is a zoonotic disease and can be called by many different names. Some of these names include Malta fever, Bangs disease, Mediterranean fever or rock fever. As an interesting fact, Malta fever comes from where the fever initially was described, according to the geographic endemic region. Transmission includes animals such as cattle, swine, goats, sheep, dogs and domesticated animals. The drinking of unpasteurized milk contributes greatly to the transmission into humans. Other ways brucellosis can be transmitted is through laboratory exposure or even veterinarians coming into contact with animals who have brucellosis. Different types of brucellosis include brucella melatensis, which is seen as a common cause of human disease, brucella abortus, brucella sui, brucella canis, and brucella ovis. It is a small, gram-negative coca bacilline, additionally aerobic in nature, with a hemophilus and bordetella resemblance. It is also non-motile, slow-growing, and non-spore-forming. Taking a look at the prevention of brucellosis. Pasteurization of dairy products is an important factor in the prevention of brucellosis. Minimizing occupational exposure and also animal vaccination are important preventative measures. This zoonotic diseases species differ primarily in their preferred terrestrial hosts, Brucella abortus mainly being found in cattle. Some cases of Brucella melatensis can also be found in cattle. However, Brucella melatensis is mainly found in goats and sheep. Brucella sui is found in swine. Looking at the clinical manifestations of brucellosis, it presents mostly asymptomatically. However, if symptoms do present, the incubation period will be about 7 to 21 days, with accompanying symptoms such as weight loss, hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, and lymphadenopathy. Periodic nocturnal fevers may also present. Taking a look at the pathogenesis of the brucella species. As we already mentioned previously, transmission of the brucella species occur by some consumption of unpasteurized dairy products such as milk or by occupational exposure. These bacteria then penetrate the mucosal or skin membrane. After doing this, they enter into the macrophages, multiplying in these cells within the reticular endothelial system. By doing this, they can inhibit apoptosis, therefore making its host life last longer. As this disease progresses, it may form granulomas within the reticular endothelial system. By doing this, bacteria can be released back into the systemic circulation. Treatment includes doxycycline and rifampin, as this is usually the treatment of choice and has a prolonged duration of about six weeks.